Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to another video of Stardew Valley. So for the purposes of today's video, we are going to show you some glitches that you can perform in this game that can absolutely <laughs> break the game for you, or some of them can make you incredibly rich, incredibly fast. So the first glitch we're going to talk about is actually a very common glitch, but because it's so common we'll use it to kickstart the video, and it's how to get into the secret woods very early. All you need is a chair. And you have to very carefully place it just past the log there that you need a steel pickaxe to break open. And you can get yourself right in there. To get out, just do the opposite. Put the chair past the other side of the log and you can scoop back out without any problems. Getting into the secret woods early is an absolute game changer because you can access very nice forageables. And fish. <laughs> the second glitch is the duplication glitch. If you and your partner play the game, or you and your friend... If both of you click on the item at the exact same time if it's on a table, that item will become duplicated. You can do this for any item that can go on a table. Prismatic shards, wines, galaxy souls, diamonds, you name it. If it can go on a table, you can duplicate it. The next thing that we're going to show you is how to duplicate items that can go on the ground. So if you take a look at just to the left there, you'll see a crystallarium, okay? So once we're finished duplicating our prismatic shards, we're obviously going to sell these. <laughs> I'll show you how to duplicate those crystallariums. So as you can see, I've got an absolute ton of prismatic shards out of that. So what we do next is, you and your partner, get out your pickaxes. Best thing to do is just count a tree or something, and you strike it at the exact same time. And as you can see, it creates a copy. Because whatever re you know, however the game is coded, it just can't keep up with the double input. So instead of you know the whole game crashing, I imagine it you know it, it just makes a copy of the item. And you can do this with auto petters, auto grabbers, seed machines. Obviously, you can do it with crystallariums. There, you can do it with you know mayonnaise machines. Anything like this that you can put on the ground and you can pick up with a pickaxe. You hit it twice. It, it, it will double and you can use this method to very quickly fill up the shade with you know whatever you want the next method here now is striking a node at the same time and you will get double the resources so i think i had a comment in one of my videos there a few weeks ago someone telling me if the, if i could make a a video on you know how to get the most iridium or co-op mode well if you're watching this is how you do it come down into the skull cavern strike the nodes at the same time and you get double the resources so, here's another glitch. <laughs> you can actually purchase ice cream in any season of the year. All you need is your horse to be to be uh, at a specific location behind the stall there and you can purchase ice cream. So if you want to eat if you want to eat ice cream in winter, you absolutely can. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to talk about here is how to duplicate <laughs> how to duplicate statues of perfection so uh, at the start of year three if you've done well the, you know the grandfather will give you a statue of perfection so you can actually trick the game you can trick trick the game into thinking you don't have any and what you do is you put the statue down you strike it with your pickaxe but do not pick it up leave it on the ground okay when you do this it will give you another one and you can do this as many times as you wish but here's but here's the trick right you have to make sure that each statue is in an undeployment state. So because I have two statues here now, I need to strike both of them in order for me to get another one. So I just struck the second one there, and there we go, I just get my third statue. It's also worth noting that if you accidentally sell the statue, you know, or put it in your trash can, you can get another one from the shrine. So the next glitch we're going to talk about is the duplication glitch you can use with Clint here. So every time Clint breaks open an item from a geode, uh, before you give him the next item, put a geode into a geode crusher and it will give you the exact same item that Clint just broke. So as you can see, we just got a prismatic shard there from Clint. Uh, I am now going to put a geode into the geode crusher and it should give me back another prismatic shard. Now once this process has been completed, um, you, you know, it won't give you back a, a prismatic shard after that. It only works on the item after Clint breaks it. So it's a real handy way to get a second prismatic shard, especially, you know, if you want one, you know, one for a galaxy weapon, and you want another one for Gunther, for example, for the uh, museum, you know, or if you want two galaxy weapons at the start of the game, if you're playing a co-op mode, 
It's a fantastic way to duplicate the Prismatic Shard. Prismatic Shard is one of the rarest items in the game. And I mean, it actually has quite a huge loot pool, but most of the time it's like a 0.1% or a 0.5% drop chance of something, you know? So this glitch, is, it's, it's definitely worth it. The next glitch I'm going to talk about is uh, double building. So if you play in co-op mode, if you go into the building menu uh, with yourself and with your cooperative partner, you can actually put down two buildings. You just got to make sure that both of you are inside this interface at the same time. And you, so we just put down two sheds there. And Robin will actually build two of them at the same time. Because as we all know, Robin is extremely sufficient. <laughs> so our two sheds just got built there now. So what I've done here, I just wanted to show you the power of duplicating the Statue of Perfection. Uh, if you duplicate it enough, you can fill up a shed with, with them. And basically... You'll never have to go to Skull Cavern again, <laughs> unless you want auto pedals or something. But um, as you can see here, you know, it generates Iridium Ore every single day. So let's collect all the Iridium Ore and see how much we get. Now it does vary from statue, you know, I, I think it's so, it's between something like 2 and 5 or 1 and 5 or 1 and 8 or something like that. I think, or is it up to 8? But basically each statue can give you multiple Iridium Ores every single day and I think I end up getting more than 600 pieces of Iridium or here from doing this and I and you can basically access this every single day on your farm you can even smell these into bars and sell them for extraordinary amounts of money so my advice to you is that if you are playing away in your farm and if you're a bit bored you should absolutely do this it's it's an absolute game changer and it opens up loads of options for you especially if you want to customize your farm you, you'll have money for days money to burn so the second wait let's see the second shed if you think this is not <laughs> i have another big treat for you here in the second shed this is another item that myself and the wife duplicated and this is a statue of endless fortune so you can buy this in the casino for a million gold but you can actually duplicate this and these statues will generate, you know, Omni Geodes or, you know, or, or diamonds for you on a daily basis. But here's the thing, right? If it's someone's birthday, they will generate what that person loves. So today is Ken's birthday because we have roasted hazelnuts. <laughs> now, I don't know what I'm going to do with a shed of roasted hazelnuts, but I suppose it's an absolutely magnificent way to, to reach max relationship status with everyone in the village because I now have enough roasted hazelnuts to max out Ken's hearts you know absolutely no problem I'll be able to give him one of these every single day until I've reached max friendship with him I could also sell them or eat them myself if I wanted to but if you have a shed filled up with statues of endless fortune like this you're gonna have a very easy time you know, getting max friendship with the entire village. So that's one step closer you'll be to getting the perfectionist achievement. And if you get perfectionist, you get lovely golden chickens. So that is basically it. I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. I will upload the next Stardew Valley video more than likely Monday. So the trend at the moment is Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. That, that's when we upload Stardew Valley content. So I hope you have a great day. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day.